What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ice City 510, coming back at you with another episode. Let's take a moment of silence while I fire up for y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Press the notification so you know when I'm going live. Back at you with another episode, man. Uh, I appreciate all the people. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoodie ice right now. You feel me? When it comes to this game, giving out this game in Sasua, if y'all know about uh, Carmelo Anthony when he was in the Olympics or something like that, you know, he was hoodie mellow. Overall rating was 99. They were saying that about the boy. So, you know, my overall rating in this game is about a 99. You feel me? So I'm hoodie ice now. You feel me? Uh, big V's. I'm not in nothing like that. I'm just... If I had on blue, it'd be C's. So, uh, no disrespect to none of that. I don't, you know, I just want people to know I'm not in, not involved in nothing like that. I'm on the West Coast. I don't know about the B's and the C's and the, and the, and the grapes and the, you know what I'm saying? And all, I don't, I don't know nothing about that. So if you ever see me, don't think I'm affiliated cause I'm not, but while well, I got this on, you know, it's, it's, it's big B's, but, uh, I'm here today to talk to you people about GFE experience in Sasua. Is it possible? Can you obtain it? Do you want to do it? Is it something you should look for? Is it something you shouldn't look for? Is it good to do it? Is it not good to do it? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that you think about. A lot of people travel. A lot of people are traveling to uh, the Dominic Republic for the Mangos, the Seagulls. Like, let's not... Let's not, you know, play. Um, I don't knock dudes that's saying, hey, um, I can't really get the female that I want in the States. So let me go overseas and try those women out. So the thing about that is, one, they're there. But it's two. The thing about this is when... This is just for people that's not as fortunate to talk to as many women as other people that they know or as they would like to. When you don't deal with that many women, it's stuff that women can do that you're not aware of. They play these games and they can trick you really, really easy. You know what I'm saying? So like for dudes that deal with a lot of women, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of catch up on traits how they lie, when they lie, you know what I'm saying? The friends that they hang around, if you can trust them to go out being around. Like, you, you pick up on that stuff from just being around them. And there's some people that wants to be around them. Now we, we in the time of age where it's social media, and it's like, dude, you can just, you ain't even started an Instagram account. You just downloaded the app. You click the search bar. All you seeing is women, girls, and working out, showing their body, all type of stuff. So it's going to be hard not to be attracted to it. And then it's going to be even more hard to be attracted to something that you probably can't never get a hold of. Like, we're all attracted to, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like renting, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Some dudes want to rent mansions. Some dudes want to rent fast cars. I don't know about renting chains and watches and suits and all that but you know some dudes want to rent that then when it comes to these seagulls it's like you renting them too you can also rent them for a little bit of time and then you got to return them but it's coming to the point to where you're seeing something you're attracted to and you want to obtain it but here which we're seeing the most of is women. That's what we're seeing the most of. More than anything, we're seeing ladies. It's in your face every day. Every day it's in your face. So eventually, you're going to want to go venture off probably with a woman that you are more attracted to and you don't want to have to settle for just because where you're at, you can't get what you want. Now, I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm just telling dudes right now, it's real. If you travel out of the country, more than likely, 
everything that you know about American women is going to go out the door because you're not going to be in America no more. And the women are going to treat you totally different. That's the thing. I'm not telling people um, go there and it's going to be it is going to be easier. I'm not going to lie and sit up here like it's going to be easier, but. Don't just think you're going to go somewhere and just find you a wife like that. You know what I'm saying? You still got to date. You still got to talk. You still got to get to know. Now, when it comes to going to the suit, if that's what you're looking for, I understand why people say they had teams and they'll have like a team, a team of five, a team of seven, a team of nine, a team of whatever, because I'm like, why everybody keeps saying that? You feel me? Like, I got to Like, how is you even? But these is the dudes that got the teams. They go on a regular basis. So when you're going on a regular basis, you, in order to save money anywhere you go, you know what I'm saying? You go, you go to LA. Let's just say, let's give LA an example. You know what I'm saying? If you go to LA example, you got your normal spots that you eat at. I'm gonna go here to eat. Oh, I go he I go to this bar. I go to this club. I've been to a couple of clubs and been here and been to these bars, but I really like the music at this bar. You know what I'm saying? If I want to do, you know what I'm saying? But this this other bar, I got karaoke on these days. So it's the same thing. Wherever you go, you're going to find your regulars of anything that you like. You're going to, you know, continue to just get involved with the same if it's people, if it's food, if it's entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to meet the same thing. So, like, it all depends on what you're going for. Now, if you're going for four days or something like that, you know what I'm saying? You might not be looking for no GFE. You might just be going out there just to meet as many seagulls as you can. You know what I'm saying? Do some gymnastics and go back home and tell people about your story. But for the people that's going to be there for like two plus weeks, you know what I'm saying? A month, two months, three months. One, I don't know your pockets and your financial stability, but are you really telling me you're going there just to be out there for two months? So like every day you can just spend money on um, that's what you're doing because you, you're going, you're spending a lot of money doing that. Like we all know we got spare money to go up out there. But when you're doing that, you're spending a lot of money. And if you got a lot of money to spend, my friend, that's on you. I'm not here to watch anybody pockets. I'm just here speaking on myself, telling people if you want to kind of save some money, you know what I'm saying? And kind of like get around to where, because a lot of them, a lot of them mangoes is different. Some of them might be rushy. Some of them might speak English. Some of them might not speak good English. Some of them might want to cook for you. Some of them might always have want to do a happy hour. Some of them might want to spend the night. Some of them might, you know what I'm saying? Some of them you might want to do different things with. It's, that's, that's what the experience is. The experience is if you have a girlfriend, let's say I got a girlfriend, you feel me? Um, what are we going to do? You know, we, we might go get some breakfast, go s watch a movie, go on an outing. You know what I'm saying? Go, um, uh, go to the beach and chill, go to the pool, kick it around the house. You know what I'm saying? Just little stuff like that. And sometimes, and I'm not saying just because you doing that makes her your girl that, you know, you know, she's not yours. But it's just how you want to feel. It's kind of, it is like an, a trick and illusion, like being in the matrix or something like that. It's another form of the matrix. It's totally another form of the matrix. But it gets to the point to where some of the mangoes out there, it's, it's like a small percentage, but some of them do want to be saved. You know what I'm saying? Some of them do want to be saved. Now, I'm not saying be the captain, save a mango. And go out there and you be like, my only mission is to look for the ones that want to be saved. Don't do that. Please do not do that. You'll be a fool and your heart will be broken. Don't do none of that. What you can do is go out there and enjoy yourself. 
And this is what I'm telling you. Go out there and enjoy yourself. If you meet a seagull and the vibe y'all have is better than some of the vibes you have with other ones, you know what I'm saying? Like she might she might hit you up more than often. You know what I'm saying? She might want to do stuff for you. It's all on it's really all on you. You know what I'm saying? Like if somebody willing to help you out, you kind of but you got to test them and you got to see cuz a lot of them do be lying. They do be lying. I did get finessed three times by one uh seagull. Got finessed three times, you feel me, to where it was like one time it was like um you know, did the happy hour, her and her friend slid. And it was, you know, it was cool. It was, uh, I had a cool time. But then they, they did the thing where they was like, oh, I have to go take my son to school in the morning and I got to go back to Santa Domingo. So we got to leave because it was supposed to be all night. But then they hit me with that probably like a couple hours after. And I was like, all right, whatever. It's cool. Y'all can go. I'm just not going to give y'all the cheese. I said I was going to give y'all. And then, you know, so we went back and forth, back and forth. And then she hit me up again and was like, hey, I'm like, man, I'm just chilling today. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I want to come chill with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, we just chilling. So she was like, all right, yeah, I'm going to come over. I was like, no, no freaky freaky. She was like, no, just chill. I was like, all right, boom. So she slide up over there. And then um, she ended up, you know what I'm saying, getting it started. Doing the gymnastics. And I'm looking like, bro, we was just supposed to be chilling. What's going on? She's like, oh, Poppy, you ready? Mucho. And then I'm like, man. So I end up doing that. I'm like, I'm not messing with you no more. And then she hit me again. I was like, but I really like you. What do I got to do to show you that I, I really like you? And, you know, me being a sucker from America, not really knowing nothing about the suit, I'm being like, okay, well, um, Go buy us some food with your own money from the supermarket. Come over, make it, and let's eat. You know what I'm saying? And we'll chill and kick it and you know what I'm saying? And just do that. She's like, all right. So she bought the food herself. You know what I'm saying? Came over, made some dope little shrimp pasta and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I'm getting some cooking. And you know, I'm, I'm starting to, I'm getting back suckered again. And then she do the, Okay, come on, let's go. Mucho freaky freaky. You pay me. And then I'm like, what? And then so I end up paying. And then they kept she kept complaining about the size of my piece. So like once I told her to like turn over, she was like, Oh no, um, you you give me more money and I do I'm like, what? Give you more money? Like we ain't even finished what we was doing now. You know what I'm saying? So at this time now we're just arguing with each other. And I'm sitting up there like, bro, I done let this girl finesse me three times, bro. Me believing that she just wanted to kick it and all this. You know what I'm saying? So you can get finessed. So watch yourself. Don't just think, you know what I'm saying? So if that's not what you're looking for, that's not what you're looking for. But it, I did also find seagulls out there that once you kicked it with them one time, the next time, Probably wasn't the same rate. You know what I'm saying? It was a little cheaper. Then the next time after that, wasn't no rate. You know what I'm saying? It was just us kicking it and chilling and, you know what I'm saying? Doing the same stuff we was doing, but I wasn't paying no rate. So, but it took like, it took about six to seven seagulls to, you know, figure that out. And then, the advice I can give you when it goes for that is you got to kind of go for who wants you. Like, you got to know who wants you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can kind of tell, like, I'm seeing this seagull, like, three times, and she keep approaching me and running up to me. It might not be look appeal what you want, but you might get out of a, a woman what you want by doing that and going that route so you know what i'm saying so the gfe experience is obtainable in sasua if you if that's what you want and as i say it's really kind of for like the long-term people if you not staying there long term one you really don't need to look for it you know what i'm saying 
if you're just there for a couple of days, you know, have your fun and do it. But if you're there for a while and you ain't trying to, you know, you worried about like, man, can I find something cool to just kick it with? Yes, you can. And the thing about this, I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm not doing another video. I'm just going to do this. So the thing about this is you might not want to just go and smash mangoes. You know what I'm saying? You might want to go and be like, man, I want to go on a on a on a uh, eight on a um I don't know what the fuck ATV ride. You know what I'm saying? I might want to go chill on the boat for a day. I might want to go see some rivers and different beaches that's not around here. I might want to go to another side and have people show me the culture. And I don't want no dude to. I'd rather have a female doing. You know what I'm saying? So you can meet girls and do that and be like, hey. You know, I got thirty, forty dollars for the day for you just for us to do some regular stuff. No gymnastics involved. I just want to do regular stuff and I just want to have a female next to me. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta like force the issue to where it's like this is what I want, I'm telling you. Like make it clear. Don't be afraid to make it clear on what you want to do. But as far as the GFE experience, don't go out there and that's what you're looking for and you thinking because it's a lot of mangles and seagulls and just ladies and women and regular working people whatever you want to call them they just out there and you don't just find love the first time you are a fool and you are going to get your heart broke and you're gonna get got so don't think that if you find a chick like that build your time up with them talk to them more you know what I'm saying? Don't you know if you're interested in them, just talk to them a little more. See what they're saying. See if they keep asking you for money. Because if they keep asking you for money, that's kind of like a sign that they ain't messing with it. But if they start being like, I don't want no money and all this, you can come through and you you ask that question like two times, like you sure I don't gotta pay you? You don't want no money? Okay. It's good, yeah. Come through. Oh, I slide up over there. It's good for sure. I just wanted to make sure. Then you screenshot that conversation. And you're going to save yourself. You feel me? So, move with the movement or it's moving without you. If you want to be the same, be the same. If you want to be different, get your ass a passport and hop on a plane. Ice City 510. Gone.